and welcome I'm here with a new video and in this video I want to talk about Facebook photography groups I'm not going to talk about Facebook groups in general because I don't really have that much experience I actually have been mostly in photography groups I want to start with um, why I don't really believe in asking for critique online in my case and why I don't do it and my reasons for wanting to be in a Facebook group no, they are not just because I want to collect likes and things like that and that has never actually worked for me so far so I want to talk about uh, where I come from and why I would want to join photography Facebook groups and then I'm gonna actually tell you what has happened uh, my experience and it hasn't been a positive one, um, sadly, but um, let's start with um, where I'm coming from. I have been a photographer for several years, so if I want to join a photography group, um, it's not because I want to get feedback and it's not because I want um, always to discuss my photography and it's not because I want to collect likes and things like that. Actually, my main reasons are because I want to start discussions on controversial photography topics, things that come to mind, things that I want to resolve, challenging things that maybe people, other people are going through and just I basically want to feel that I'm part of a community and I want to help the ones that I can help. I feel that, uh, you know, everyone should have the right to join in a community just for the sake of joining the community and of course um, contribute with something but I don't always have to contribute with putting my photos out there for a discussion. I am open to discuss my work but in the correct way which happens very rarely and when it does happen it's actually quite nice but uh, most of the times it hasn't happened this way most of the times people try to force their vision and their understanding of what is right on me and I'm not at that point where I need someone to tell me what I should be doing I am on my journey and I don't need someone to tell me what to do every step of the way I'm not at that stage anymore and this is why I don't ask for critique another thing is um, I don't believe that critique could be given in a valid way through Facebook. If someone hasn't seen my photography career so far, hasn't seen my style, had, don't know anything about me pretty much, um, they have the tendency to assume things that are not true. Now, if you're assuming something that is not true and you don't even verify whether it's true or not and you're still saying something, it's just pretty much useless information because it has nothing to do with reality. So it's just people just saying things and guessing stuff and um, how is that ever going to be anything valid or applicable if it has nothing to do with me and my work? It's just noise. So I want to start with saying that, um, yeah, I have had quite a negative experience in those Facebook photography groups. I'm going to start with the first one. I think it started back in 2015. I shared my first um, I started as a double exposure, but I threw in another element which made it a composite photography. So I share this composite photography to a local photography group. Now, in a photography group, you would assume that there are photographers there. There are people that understand photography, that practice photography, and sometimes uh, photo editing as a combination, or just photo editing that, that they are familiar with the field. You know, this is why it's a photography group, but that has not been the case for me. I mean, the people there, I... I'm not convinced that the people that have commented on my work are people that have actual valid experience or anything valid to say. So I, I share this composite photography and OMG people went crazy. They were like, uh, only schizophrenic could create something like this. Um, what else do they say? Haters are going to say it's photoshopped, which I think it was quite ridiculous in the case because if you say haters are going to say it's photoshopped then you're if you're talking about a photo where the person is trying to hide that they have been photoshopping the image yeah it would make sense but this is a composite photography we all know that it's done in photoshop or photo editing software so um yeah that's that comment kept popping up and maybe it's because people are weren't native english speakers in the group i don't know i'm just finding excuses for them i don't know maybe that maybe that but yeah people went crazy this this uh composite had like 300 comments and they were all negative it was like nothing positive no one said a single positive thing one lady was even saying um how on earth is that art? I need you to explain to me how is that art. The girl is art is not supposed to be explained. And I, when I'm posting this composite there, I don't want everyone to agree that it's art, to agree that it's beautiful. I don't want them to be 
nice and positive but I did not expect that I honestly did not expect that I didn't think that um, <laughs> that photo could touch people in that way to the point that they really really feel like they have to um, say so many nasty things I mean the one about the schizophrenia that was just like way over the top but yeah people started doing that so okay um, I waited I was hoping the admins to do something maybe disable comments or something like that they did nothing absolutely nothing they ended up removing me from the group because I have a group with a similar name yeah, so that's why they removed me from the group. Um, anyways, uh, and all I did was just share this composite photography. That's all I did. Like I never spammed. I never. I have never broken any group rules. I have always been a nice contributor, trying to help others, trying to uh, contribute in the group, post some nice things. At least to me, like I mean, they are not harmful things. At least you know, it's just something that I created. That's all there is to it. So, anyways, that was it for this group. And I have been part of another group, which is uh, uh, for professional photographers, my dad. And um, recently I saw a photo that was posted by someone and um, I just felt like I have seen that photo before. So I left a comment asking if that's a composite because I have seen that background somewhere. Uh, and I said I probably seen it on Pexels because I use Pexels a lot uh, when I do my composite photography. And obviously the first thing that I get on this comment is someone laughing at my comment. So I got annoyed and I just couldn't help it. I, I really felt like I have seen that photo somewhere or the background or the photo. And so I did a Google image search and this photo popped up everywhere. And uh, so long story short, I found out that the original person that posted the photo, the creator, their their name and they had a few more photos uh, with the same dog so I knew it was the actual creator their name was not the same as the person in the Facebook photography group so what they did is the, the Facebook account the Facebook person which I also think it was a fake account they just took that photo from a splash and they posted it in a Facebook photography group where no one did anything and this photo is accumulating likes uh, now I do believe that the admins should have checked that I understand it's a huge group, but if I'm a photographer and I'm aware of Google image search, I assume that other photographers should be aware of that. Again, coming from the assumptions that in photography groups there are photographers, I am starting to wonder whether and how many of them are photographers. Um, so yeah, so yeah, this was a fake photo, probably a fake person using someone else's photos um, to just. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know actually. Why would someone do that? Why would you use someone else's photo like that? It's just horrible, and disgusting, in my opinion. Um, and no one does anything about it. And I, and I said something about it, and I got laughed at. Um, so, anyways, for a while I was uh, staying away from photography groups. But again, like I mean, I do like that sense of being part of a community, being part of discussions that are photography related. So. I joined another group which was, oh yeah, and also I joined one is for uh, photographers and models, which is a good way, but it's for TFP, so we don't want to earn money, but it's a good way to find, possibly find nice people for photo shoots, and I did find a couple of them, but uh, the group itself was horrible. Um, I uh, was in it, and so... Uh, I started sharing work from successful photo shoots that I had from people that I met through the group and um, sooner or later on one of my photos someone started commenting because it was after a successful photo shoot that I did I've been out all day and I've been editing all night so I posted at about 11 or 12 at night and I just said it's painterly look and you can actually see it from my painterly look video it's the same photo and um, what I did is I did a casual photo shoot, TFP one, and then when I came back home, I edited the photo and I just took it this direction to be more of a painterly look photo editing style. But then someone I wrote because someone asked me what is painterly about this photo. I don't understand. Um, and I, it was it was late at night, so I didn't want to go into it. So I threw in the caption. Um, it's you know in English because it's a local group, so everything is happening in a different language, not in English. So I wrote just the term painterly look. Just look it up in Google, and I went to bed. And then in the morning there were more. I also don't see anything painterly about this photo. I don't understand why you're calling this. The style that you're referring to is great, but this is not it. 
and again like those are people that have not seen the original photo those are people that have not been involved in photo editing because i did look them up before i could even uh, think about uh, replaying to them i didn't i didn't bother with it but um I think it's an important thing to do if you are going to give your opinion on Facebook or critique or anything just get familiar with the person what they are posting if they have any photography background if they are new if they are someone with experience if they know what they are talking about and I would hope that it, when people see that I have experience and I want to say that this is a painter you look they could just leave it at that you know I worked on it for several hours if I want to say that it's painter you look but anyways, and to me it is, it's not, again, in the video I talk about, in the painterly look video I talk about it more, my definition of paint, painterly look. But yeah, people just started arguing over something that is not as significant. Started asking me, why am I sharing this if I don't accept opinion? So I said, I'm sharing it in this specific group for TFP projects. I am sharing it because I want to share that I worked with the model successfully and uh, they are results. I want to show results because many of those people there, they don't show any results. They're just talking, even the ones commenting, they have not posted a single thing in that group, but they are yet talking about my existent work. One person actually accused me of having someone else take my self-portraits for me. I couldn't believe that someone could come up with that, but yeah, he did. He said that someone else is taking my uh, self-portraits for me. He said um, to me, because I did mention something about how I take mostly horizontal shots and not vertical, I don't follow those kind of rules because I have developed my own style. I know what I like. He's like, oh, this is so ridiculous. How can you take a portrait in a horizontal way? How could you possibly fit the whole person in the frame if it's horizontal? And when he told me that, I was like, OMG, OMG, are those really the people that I'm dealing with and why am I even here? And um, after the painterly look, apparently not everyone agreed that it was a painterly look, so I posted a black and white photo and I'm like, okay, at least we can all agree that it's a black and white photo. But again, someone said that, oh, apparently he really likes central composition with uh, cut out elbows. I'm like, first of all, this is not a central composition. Uh, second of all, how, why, why come to the conclusion that I really love that? So if I really loved that, I would have created more photos like that. And the fact is that I have not <laughs> created that many photos like that. But anyways, he had to say something. And at this point, I know that this person has not seen any of my work. Uh, people went on, uh, started saying things like uh, talking about my photography equipment and how I use an old camera just because on my profile picture I am with my first camera and so obviously they know nothing about me, nothing about what they're talking about, they don't even bother to verify but they are just throwing in comments in there. I was waiting a little bit for the admins of the group to do something about it, you know, to remove the comments or to stop them or just you know, something, because I thought it was their responsibility at this point where I'm a person that is contributing to the group more than just those people that are attacking me. The admin did nothing. My mom actually at this point got annoyed, so she started answering to each and one of those negative comments. And there were a lot, so she started answering to the existing ones. And then the admin of the group, this is when he interfered and he messaged my mom, you know, he left a comment for my mom, he was like, you are the one making everything worse in this situation, so I'm going to remove you from the group if you don't stop. I'm like, wait a second, and my mom was like, she answered, if you have interfered earlier, if you have stopped all those comments before, do you think I would have had to answer? And then he removed her. He just removed her, the only person who was defending me in the situation, he removed her. So I'm thinking, okay, I am here, I'm contributing to the group, I am uh, sharing actual successful work with people from the group, which is helping the group grow and helping people see that the group actually works. I have invited people, I have been really nice about it, and um, I even in one post said, because another girl was attacking, she was like saying, if you don't want to see the, if you don't want to hear opinion of people about your work, then why are you sharing it here? And, and I said, I'm sharing it because I'm thankful to the group, I'm thankful to the models, and I want to show everyone and share that it was a successful interaction and something good comes out of this group and this interaction. And, and at the end of the day, uh, the admin's reaction was to, um, defend the people that 
don't post anything and don't contribute with anything to the group and this is when i was like you know what i'm done i'm gone if, if he wants to keep those kind of people that are just haters and because some of them were actually haters and never posted anything in the group just commented negative things uh if he wants to keep those kind of people in the group then i'm out of here like you know it's just my mom thinks it was done deliberately and to be honest with you, the time that he removed my mom for defending me, I also feel like something wasn't right about that. But anyways, if they want to keep those people other than me, they should keep them. I removed myself from this group. Then there were other um, photo editing groups and I gotta say that, you know, when it comes to photo editing, the comments have been a lot more negative for photography. The comments are negative as well, but mostly in local groups. Um, the global ones are not as bad, but photo editing, global ones, OMG, that's just horrible. I have created many things. I have created my digital woman, which actually no one was able to understand that it's a completely composited woman from parts, different parts. It's not a real human. They started um, critiquing my photography skills and they didn't realize that it was not an actual woman, the background was one person, the eyes were another person, the lips were another person. Someone had mentioned that she has a creepy smile, but no one was able to actually see that it was a total composite. They just said that my composition is horrible and things like that. They had obviously something to say. Now, another group uh, that I actually thought that is a good group because for the first time when I shared something, there were people that helped. Someone actually backed me up and he was saying, you know, just saying this comment doesn't help. And that was, that was really nice. I really appreciated it because, you know, that I have had so many experiences. I'm going through like the major ones that I remember right now, but I have had a lot of similar experience. And very rarely does someone defend me and actually say something like that. Uh, and I, so I appreciate it. I would do that if I see a threat of someone attacking someone like that over their work. I would, I would obviously say that please don't do that. You have no reason. But people don't haven't done that for me that often. So when it does happen once or twice, I really appreciate it. So moving on. Um, yeah, I stayed in this group for a while and i thought it was a great group i never spammed i never did anything wrong i never insulted anyone i never started arguments it's just not what i do in facebook groups and um i was just returning from a trip from israel and i, I wanted to post at least one photo from um jerusalem from the western wall from the hotel and i was hoping to post it in that group because at that time i did not belong to any other groups because i was done with the negativity and i was like okay i'm just gonna stick to this group but there are sensible people here and in this group i actually found uh, a very very uh, nice person who is i just admire his patience to deal with people and he's definitely a person worth knowing so um i stayed in this group for a while um and then i posted something about because i did start discussions in that group a couple of times then i posted something about what is a good platform to build your website or to sell your photos and there was nothing in the rules saying that i shouldn't mention anything like that or shouldn't ask anything like that and all of a sudden after this post i got i didn't just get removed i got blocked completely and the worst thing is that my photos are still there in the group and i can't do anything about it and i can't even ask why i got blocked for because for the life of me i have no idea i never did anything really nothing to um explain that but i got blocked there was also this person that i um uh, again in a local photography group they were asking for advice they were asking for advice on how to preserve skin texture so I gave them my advice because I like doing that I like actually helping people if I can I wouldn't just throw in things in there and wouldn't just leave you know comments that have no substance but if I can help I always try to do that so I said you know what I do is I use frequency separation I do this and that and I told him the steps that I do he was like I can't believe you even mentioned frequency separation. Frequency separation is so unprofessional. How could you even give me advice like that? I'm like, okay, wait a second, dude, you're asking for advice. You can just say thank you and move on. You don't have to take my advice, but you can at least appreciate the fact that I have given some of my time to give you advice when I don't need to do that. But anyways, it was just... Uh, yeah, it was a ridiculous response again. And to be honest with you, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get why my interactions get that sort of response because I have never been nasty. I have never insulted anyone. Again, I have never really done anything wrong. I just share my work and um, 
I don't want that sort of outcome after me sharing my work. I don't want negativity. I don't want to create negativity in any way. So um, the only thing I felt like I can do is just leave the groups and not share my work anymore because I really I can't do anything. I can't stop the well. Like, I could actually stop the comments, but then some admins are against it and they don't like me doing that. So. Um, yeah, I have decided to stay away from photography groups because they're not, they're just not the right place for me, apparently, <laughs> sadly, but apparently. So, um, I do hope that they do work out for other people because I watched other videos on YouTube that are saying that people can get likes and exposure and I hope that actually happens for other people and I have seen it happening for other people, but, but for me, the, the negative experience is just so much more than the positive experience, so... I'm just going to stay away from him. And this was a rather long video. Thank you so much for watching it. And I do hope to see you next time.